brewing is an art form. It dates back, you know, 2,000 years before wine. And I've always said, you know, you grow wine and you make, you make beer, you create beers. Now why do the monks brew beer? They hang out, they elevate their minds, they elevate each other, and they get closer to God. You know, the American Tavern is a very long tradition of having people have that fourth space where they can, you know, discuss politics or talk about just about anything in life. You cannot go into this saying, oh, I don't really know a lot about beer and I don't really care about beer that much. I just want to make a lot of money. You have to go in this because you are brave and you are creative and you are crazy. But most important of all, you have a deep, deep passion for craft beer. Our town's a special place. If you say, I'm from Athens, Georgia to anybody, uh, across the country and, and other countries, you know, people always have this positive connotation to Athens, Georgia, like, oh, it's a great music town or that's a great food town or I went to a football game there once. But we always had said we want to make Athens, Georgia a great beer town. The Athens beer scene started out very slowly. Beer was not a culture yet. It had to be created. It, it was a big uphill battle to try to get our brands in front of people because the Southeast in general had always been more of a wasteland for beer. Back then, we didn't have a lot of access to beers that other breweries made outside of Georgia. If you couldn't buy beer from the brewery, you had to buy beer from a packet store or a retail store. Sachin was really aggressively seeking out these special exciting beers and showcasing them. Terrapin was available on draft only, and we sold kegs of it, which was mind blown to some people, you know, it was ahead of its time. When we started in 2002, we were one of three production breweries in the state of Georgia, and we'd go into bars and restaurants and try to sell Terrapin Rye Pale Ale on draft. You know, people would say, Ah, we just put Newcastle on, we're good, don't worry about it. it. It was really difficult to break in and to educate people. I always call it being the head of the plunger, <laughs> if you will, because you know we had, a, we had to break all these barriers and trudge ahead, I mean, especially with you know popping the 6% alcohol ban here. You know, think about your favorite Terrapin beer, there's a decent chance that it's probably over 6% alcohol. So prior to 2004, they weren't even allowed to brew that. For a long time, really people, especially craft beer drinkers in Georgia, didn't really have another option. It was something that you really had to kind of brew yourself. It is my total belief that all good professional brewers started out home brewing. So without home brewing, the pool of professional brewers that we would have in the rapidly growing craft beer industry right now would not be nearly what it is today. And the Growler Shop has spawned so many great home brewers. So barley, hops, and yeast, we started carrying that. Water, you can get out of your faucet at home. <laughs> you know, you can get all the tools you want, but you gotta know how to use them. So we added a brewing system. We started doing home brewing classes and then people really understood the basics of what beer was and then the details of what each part of the beer could be. I don't know if, you know, what our beers would have ended up being like if we didn't have, you know, the resource here to, to brew so much and test it out. We probably brewed Tropicalia 20 times here right out back. We just kept doing it over and over, 20 gallons at a time, playing with little proportions of hops, little tiny tweaks to malt and different processes and things like that. When Sachin tried it, you know, he was so enthusiastic about it. He's like, oh my God, this is amazing. You have something special here. We just offered the tool set and then also the educational component to try to say, okay, now you can take this and do whatever with it, run with it. Go for it. He's the type of person that really gets other people excited. He's always researching and learning more stuff. 
He's just like a living encyclopedia. I think Sachin is a visionary. And he's, you know, he's one of those people, he's like, you know, I can do anything. He's such a kind observer. Like he, he never beats anyone up with their knowledge. He just is there to help. You wonder how that guy has 48 hours in a day because he does so much and you, and you don't know how he gets it all done. I think people would be surprised about Athens beer scene because the breweries are all, like we're all really good friends and we all help each other out. Even though we are technically competitors, the beautiful thing about craft beer is that we don't treat each other that way. I've called up Creature Comforts before and I've called up Authentic Brewing Company before, and Southern Brewing as well. Somebody runs out of ingredients, somebody runs out of cleaning chemicals, somebody runs out of a hose. They need some extra hops because theirs aren't coming in until next week. We all work together to collectively make sure everyone can succeed and be successful. I think if you look at the Athens beer scene today, it's definitely blossoming in a huge way. And I think it really encompasses a lot of what Athens, Georgia is truly all about. Creativity, innovation, it's exciting right now. Athens has a really good music scene. It's got a really good art scene going on. Beer just kind of fits right in there with that. The beer here really does kind of raise the bar on what craft beer could be and should be. Now we've got these, you know, half dozen, six, seven breweries here that are like family. There are probably five or six breweries that'll open in the next 10 years that we aren't even thinking about that could end up being the next greatest thing. Now it's like, okay, let's see how we can grow this town and support each other and become something great. We have been really like, I would say the low and slow, the barbecue of beer. You know, we've like grown it nicely and organically. It's got a good solid foundation to continue propagating way down the road. It's exciting right now and it's honestly, it's one of the best places to drink beer in America.